It's a matter of choosing who to save or who not to, who not to save. It's, it's, it's not nice. Rich Sitsina works on the front line of South Africa's battle against COVID-19. With infections now at more than a million, driven by a more contagious variant, he and other nurses say they can't cope. In my facility, there's a person who died in a tent because the wards were full and there's nothing the hospital management could have done, by the way. He and other representatives of the Young Nurses in Darba Trade Union describe grim conditions in South African hospitals, including patients sleeping on the floor and morgues that are full. Our communities must prepare to die and die in numbers. Portia Maseko is a nurse at Leratong Hospital. She says they are still being given substandard personal protective equipment. I'm telling you, as it is right now, I would never encourage any of my kids to be either a doctor or a nurse because that is suicide in South Africa. The country has recorded the highest number of coronavirus infections in Africa at 1.15 million, or about a third of the continent's total. This week, deaths surpassed 30,000, and Health Minister Zweli Mkhize said hospitals were struggling to manage the influx of patients. You know, body bags on the floor. Young nurses in Daba President Lorato Mtunzi says the country needs a stricter lockdown. Nurses are demoralized. They are banned out and they are just dragging themselves as they are the only, only people that we are currently relying on. Doctors, nurses, healthcare support staff, all equally are really in a bad state. Mkhize has said South Africa will vaccinate 40 million people, or two-thirds of its population, in order to achieve herd immunity, though health workers have also voiced concerns that authorities have not acted fast enough to secure the required vaccines.